Ms. Poe, you've petitioned the court for a paternity test to prove to Mr. Tarver that he is your 19-month-old son, Joe Sean's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Tarver, you say your defense in court is simple. You are not Joe Sean's father, and you will prove that today. Without a doubt, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Poe, so he's done nothing for this little boy? Nothing at all? No, Your Honor, he ain't did nothing. He ain't bought him a diaper, he ain't bought him a shoe, he ain't bought him a shirt. He don't do anything for my son. Are you serious? Yes, I'm dead serious. He don't <laughs> do anything for him. He call him once in a while, that's it. Once that's in a while. not I don't, being I don't a call father. him every day. I don't that, see him that's at not, least three, that, four that, times a week. That's not being a father, you I don't right. call him every day? No, you don't. Okay. Every time he acts, I let him see my son. If I have to go all the way to him, I take him to my son because I don't want my son without a father. And you say he's denying him. Absolutely. He's denying my son. He not been... just denying him time and attention, but denying him saying he's not his child. Yes, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor, I get my son time and attention. But you just deny that he's your child? It was things going on. There's circumstances. I'm not just saying here saying he's not my son. There's reasons, and she knows as well. Please, elaborate to the court. What are those reasons? I mean, we're young, and we wow, you know, and we party a lot. And, and you know, there was stuff going on around them times involved in parties and sleepovers and, and just other That's people, fine. period. And, and she have admitted That's in the fine. past, but nowadays she, she'll say it's not true. So, so when you, you didn't leave me and go, go lay with somebody else? No, I didn't. The Your night that you, that you told me you were five right, blocks away, it took you three hours to pull up. Where, um, Mr. Tarver Five blocks was. away, it took you three hours to pull up with three dudes in the car? Mr. Tarver was when I got there. Five hours, another girl five, was five blocks there. away, it took three hours to pull up with three dudes there, in the car? There was another girl there. Okay. He said he wanted to go to sleep. It was no he other girl there. And did you not leave and go back and lay with him? Yeah, absolutely I left, but I did not go leave and lay with another man. All right. I need specific stories. What happened? Well, well, Your Honor, when she first got pregnant, she came and told me she was two months pregnant. And time went on. About two, three months had passed, and she come back and tell me she's two months of pregnant. She's lying, again. Your Honor. You, you, went, didn't, you didn't come back. You didn't come to, back when you were supposed to be four months and you were pregnant. Can I talk? Your Honor, I went to the doctor. I went to Planned Parenthood, the um, clinic, and I got a pee test done. And the lady asked me when was my last menstrual cycle. I gave her a date, and she went off the date based so it's two off, months off when I told. Please, it's two months please, off. Please, let not me not a talk. couple weeks, two months. Can I talk? Can I talk? Your Honor, I got into some things and. I ended up having to go to the hospital and they actually did an ultrasound on my baby and told me that I was only six weeks. I told Mr. Tarver... But when you first came, you said you was two months. Later, probably a week later. But this was two months after me, you told me you was two months. I never told you two months. I told you, you when I found the out the The first day you came day. in, you didn't say you was two months? No, so, I did not. Ms. Cole, I want to be clear. Yes. You do admit that initially you told him you were two months pregnant. Based on what I told the doctor and what was wrote on the paper, yes, from Planned Parenthood. Okay, so when you first got the urine test... Yes. ...you were given that you were approximately eight weeks. Right. Two plus two. And then, one. how long after that particular appointment did you have to go for the ultrasound? It was probably like a month later. At least two and a half months. It was a month later. At least two, so, three a, and a half. month later, you went for an ultrasound. Yes. And they told you you were only six, six weeks. Six weeks, yes, Your Honor. Did it don't add up. Mr. Tarver go to the, any of the doctor's appointments no, he with did you? No, not. One, he didn't go... There was one, not one Honor, doctor's appointment with me. May I speak me. now? May I speak? You didn't let me talk? All okay, right, both of you, just one at a time. Well, Your Honor, I want to understand There this. was a situation in which she told me she had to go to the doctor. This is around when she first got pregnant. Well, I think it was before she came back with the two plus two situation. He's lying, Your Honor. I was like four months pregnant when he claimed he went to the doctor with me. Two plus two, whatever she got... All right, but go ahead. She tell me she needs to go to the doctor, so I tell her I'll go with her. We, we go to the doctor, and we get to the doctor. The doctor say they closed, and they, 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 they moved. They've been gone for a minute. And she's telling me, even though they said they've been gone three months, she was in this doctor two weeks ago. How does that make sense? So the doctor's office says she was there they, two they, weeks they, ago? They, no, the, she said she was there two weeks ago. The, oh. When we get to the doctor, there's a sign on the door saying they moved they to another address lunch. three months ago. They was at lunch. Three oh. months ago. Boy, they was three at months ago. lunch. Three, now they was at so lunch. Was no, the, we went to lunch. So we ain't go to lunch. Ago. They ain't go to lunch. You're saying the doctor's office was not closed. No, I wasn't. There was no doctor's office. Needle. And you're they saying there is no doctor's office. There's a sign on the door. It was in the building. It was in the building. It wasn't no doctor's office. It was a building, and it was a suite in the building. They said a sign on the door that we've been we're at another address for since 
and it was dated three months before this. So when you it, read it, then, that, then you... When, I'm like, this not. The, I'm telling her at the time, this isn't a doc. She like, wow. she, that's when she argued with me. Good I was God. in there two weeks ago. They're not closed. I was in there. They How? They gave me my whole How? How? How was the doctor? How? Me? Joseph, somebody. Come on, you found an empty building. Please, knock it off. What do you think her motive was here? She didn't believe I was Look gonna go me. to the doctor appointment. Okay. And then when I told her, and it wasn't no doctor's appointment, she tried to make it seem as if you there is one. So Miss Pole. Yes, ma'am. Was Mr. Tarver there the day you gave birth? Yes, he was. I had to sign the birth certificate? No, he told me he because did not want, want to sign... Because you didn't no, want me to. No, he did not sign the birth certificate. He said he didn't want his name on nothing. Don't give my son his last name because he didn't want me to put him on child support. That's what he told me, and he left. No, she told me After she wasn't my giving him was my name because don't, she don't like me. I, get, I named him. Boy, I named him. so why would I give him your last name That's if I, I let I you him. name him? I, that I wrote the whole sense. thing down. Why would I write, write down, uh, give him you my name and my brother's name together said, and not give him my last name? You said do not give huh? him my last name I wrote it down I don't and want left. you to put me on she, child she support. She wanted me to leave because she was on the phone with her boyfriend. Ooh. Nothing what to say now? a mess. It got quiet in here. <laughs> You said you wanted this child to have your last name. I named him. Lying. I named He's him. Lying. Mr. Tarver, why would you name the child and want him to have your last name if you didn't believe that you was your child? Was that I'm not saying I don't want him to be mine. Why, why play this role if this is not what it is? Did you have doubts when you were naming him and... Of course. You did. All the time he used to tell me, I know that's my son. We young, we dumb. Uh, uh, she, I'm, um, we were just uh, passing we, time. Yeah. We, we was young passing and time. We dumb. Hold on. I, I was telling her son. what she needed. It was cold, it was winter. Boy, Come please. down the street. I'm going to get you Boy, down please. here. We're we going to have Boy, a good time. Please. We're going to be warm together. For a whole year, it was Your a Honor? year. It was a yes. year. We were never together. Oh, we were just cool. Joseph, we was never together. You wouldn't why, leave. Why are you was telling me you left? You me? wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave. You wouldn't leave. All right, Mr. Tarver. Yes, I want to better understand your doubt. You've brought a witness. Please join me up here. Come sit at the witness stand. Hello, ma'am. Hello. State your name for the court. Rosie Jones. Ms. Jones, you are... His fiance. Mr. That's Tarver's fiance. Yes, yes. clowns. Let's be respectful. Please. So, ma'am, what do you know about this situation? To be honest, they say that it's multiple people was claiming her baby Girl, at the time. you don't that even know me. Seen. Be quiet. I'm talking. You don't even know All me. Right, let's so get how you control. gonna say anything? Let's you heard? Girl, get I heard many control. things about you too. Yeah. Let's from get him. control. They're saying there's multiple people claiming her baby, which he also told it me is. the same thing. Multiple people yes, and are never saying that her. her child is theirs. Yes. Two other people. Two Ooh. other people yes. particularly. Yes. And I got and... I got evidence, Your Honor, that she was dying to get pregnant. Boy, let what, me see this all. evidence, Drew. This, was this not on your... Did yes, somebody not tell you? Yes, to your podium, Mr. Tarver. That was on my Facebook. This evidence states... Her, her status stated she's pregnant and... Aha! Uh -huh. Finally. Blank was dying to get pregnant. Yes, Your Honor, that was my homegirl. She was playing on my status. She commented on my it's status. A joke. She was not the only person that commented on the status saying and, about me getting pregnant. And not the only one that said she was dying to get pregnant. Nobody either. wasn't dying to get pregnant by either. you. Either. I just either. happened to get pregnant by this mm. uh But but the mm. point is, Mr. Tarver, just because even if she was dying you to still, get pregnant. You still laid down with me. You, you still, still slept, slept with her. me every night. Even though you didn't want me down here. You slept with me every night, more than one time a night. Well, he didn't deny that. I, I, um, I mean... Exactly. <laughs> so, basically, you still could potentially be this child's father. Exactly, that's why we're here today. Why do you believe he's denying this child? I think he's denying my child because of Rosie. He didn't know if you was for sure. You didn't either. I didn't know that no, was my... No, you didn't know. Well, that was the you only person. No, you, you didn't. Even know you me, didn't girl. Either. You didn't Were you either. sleeping with anyone else? No. Yes. No, I was yes. not. No, I was not. You didn't sleep with nobody? No, I was not. The whole time we was together, Ms. I was faithful to him. Now, Miss Paul. He Ms. was not faithful to me. Mr. Tarver, do you have any other children? Possibly. 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 It's a clown. So there's another child... Yes, her Out baby. there? Yes, Your Honor. Who do you have a child with where you question the paternity? Ms. Jones as well. Ms. Jones? Clowns. Yes. Your fiance? Y yes, Your Honor. Okay, let me finish with this case first, and then I will deal with that one. What are your intentions here? Are you gonna step up and take care of the up, child? Your Honor. You you I've been stepping up. She could come up here and play the role you she don't... wanna play. When you but bought she, a diaper. But she know. When you bought a white. I... When you bought a shirt. But when you when he was shoe. born, when he was born, I, what, what he wears daily. You didn't buy nothing for him when he was born. All right, all right. 
Ms. Poe, <clears throat> Mr. Tarver, the only way to end this shouting match, I think, is to have the results. Jerome. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to remain in this courtroom respectfully. Yes. And I'm going to question Mr. Tarver and Ms. Jones further to see if I need to also order a DNA test on their child. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Poe versus Tarver, pertaining to one-year-old Joshan Poe, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Tarver, You are Joe Sean's father. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! That's what I wanted Thank to know. That's Clapper. what I wanted Thank as well. It's not like Thank I was saying you. I don't want him. I just wanted to be sure because as you can see, you she admitted sure? some infidelity. You were sure? All right. You, were sure. you know what? Now you all just yelling because you just like to hear yourself talk. Because you're not saying anything. It's your child. You know now. You said you already been stepping up. Step up even further. Yes, Your Honor. All right. We have resources for you. You guys want to take advantage of them? I hope you do. Now, moving on to Mr. Tarver and Ms. Jones. So the child's name is? Rory. How old? One year. One year? Okay. So why do you have doubts specifically? Me and Rosie, we was actually a relationship. We exchanged Facebook and Instagram passwords, and I was logged on to her Facebook, and she was talking to her ex. We talked, she told him, you gonna get me in trouble, but still pull up. And then a couple days later with her birthday, and I, I, I planned her a party, had our friends and everybody there, you know, and she didn't show up because she was spending time with him. I never knew about the party, and me and him was not even together no more. We was. So, Ms. Jones, do you admit that during the time you say maybe you guys weren't together that you slept with your ex? No, I did not sleep with him. I mean, you did. I mean she was with him four years and we, we, she got her pregnant Facebook. a month after we got together. And but I, you were intimate with her, right? Sure was. Me as well, yeah. She was still with her ex. At a party no, she, I was at, not. At a party she threw, a mutual friend came up to me and told me that she was his girlfriend still. So, Mr. Tarver, I need more July. tangible doubt. Well, I mean... He don't have we, any. We black as Wesley Snipes. The baby look like Justin Bieber. <laughs> and how light is what? your mama? And how light is your sister? A friend of mine, Cedric, I, I have a witness. We could call him. I have his number. We'll, we'll tell you, he called her coming out his house late at night. I could write it down for you. Yes, I'd like to have it. Jerome, will you please get that information for me? And his name is Mr. Parker. You are so full of it, bro. I just want the truth. Mr. Parker. <laughs> Me too. Mr. Parker. Let's see if we can get Mr. Parker on the phone. Hopefully. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mr. Parker? Yes, who's calling? This is Judge Lauren Lake from Paternity Court. Oh, hey. How you doing? Uh, I'm well. Thank you. I am here in the case of Poe versus Tarver. You know Joseph Tarver, do you not? Yes, Your Honor. He says you saw his fiance. Oh, Ms. Jones. yeah, Rosie. Yes. <laughs> now, before you get to this testimony, I have to ask you do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, I did see her coming out of his house. Well, one of my friends' house that stayed down the street from my granny. And you feel me? They was on the porch doing their little thing. They were on the porch but doing their little thing. I saw them holding no, hands coming out the house and every everything. Doctor appointment, everything. I didn't say nothing at first, but... We still but... Okay. Girl, please. Hello? Quiet. Yes, Hello? sir. Proceed. I'm listening. Yes, yeah, so when I saw them coming out the house, at first I wasn't really tripping. I was like, okay. But then when I seen them doing all that other stuff, I'm like, wow. So then I called, it, I called Joseph. He didn't really believe it, but... Have to do his own little homework. But he a good guy. I didn't feel like he deserved that. So do you believe Rory, the little girl, is his child? It's up for grabs because everything was happening. Him and Rosie was messing around. I saw that. And apparently he know other stuff about other dudes. So it's, it's in question. All right. Thank you very much for your testimony today. I appreciate your time. Okay. All right. With that said, I am going to order a DNA test to be performed as it relates to baby Rory. 
Mr. Tarver, Ms. Jones, I want you to leave this courtroom. I want you to immediately submit to the DNA testing and we will return with the results. Are we clear? Yes, Your, yes, Honor. Your Honor. Jerome, please escort them out. Court is in recess. <laughs> Court is back in session. Ms. Jones, Mr. Tarver, you did in fact submit to DNA testing. Am I correct? Yes, Your, yes, Your Honor. You all are engaged. Yes, Your Honor. So, there's a lot at stake here. Yes, Your Honor. I think it's time for the results. Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Tarver versus Jones, pertaining to one-year-old Rory Tarver, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Tarver, You are Rory's father. Thank you. <laughs> so you feel special? And now we need to put differences behind us because we both got a child by him. Absolutely. So Absolutely. all that drama is unneeded. Absolutely. Well said. <laughs> Two brothers could be the father. Two brothers with the same name <laughs> could be the biological father. This is a lot. It is. It really is. When he came to me and he told me that he was my dad, um, I went to family members and I asked them, did you know that there was a possibility? And even though she was not at the time telling me there was a possibility Steve was my dad, they've all told me they believe Steve is my dad. But Michael Shockley, you still believe you are Desiree's biological father. You believe that. Yes, Your Honor. She's always been my little girl, so she'll never be, not be my little girl, but... Like, I have all girls, and he's got all boys. All boys and one girl. <laughs> Let's see. So you submitted a chart. <laughs> <laughs> you like my chart? <laughs> so, Mike, you say you have all girls. Yes, ma'am. Three girls, and Desiree's right there in the middle. Yep. Steve, you have all boys. Yes, Your Honor. Five boys. And one daughter. <laughs> He's serious about that one daughter. <laughs> and you believe this shows basically that I guess Mr. Shockley makes boys, not girls. Even in my last boy, know. when we had the, paternity, uh, the uh, ultrasound done, it showed two times, we had three of them done. It showed two times that my last boy was a girl. He come out a boy. <laughs> so that doesn't... When, when he's talking about that, that, that doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. I don't think what you just said <laughs> means nothing either. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you know what? You're reaching, and if you're reaching because you so desperately want to be her father, right or wrong or indifferent, I will never, ever condemn a man in this courtroom who desperately wants to be a father. <laughs> so... Yeah, Mr. Shockley, I don't think that added up to any <laughs> relevant testimony, but you went for it. <laughs> Mr. Michael Shockley, you brought a witness. I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. Yes, ma'am. Step over to the podium. State your name for the court. Crystal Dennis. Ms. Dennis, what relationship are you to the defendant? I'm his daughter. All right. And you are here, I'm sure, because you have now learned about this entire paternity question. Have you ever had any doubt in no, your mind? No, ma'am. Your whole life growing up, you knew Desiree to be your sister. Yes, our whole life, we were known as our dads, as Mike's. Uh, we, we always... We fought as kids over who was more of a daddy's girl, you know? She'd be like, oh, you're mama's girl. No, I'm daddy's girl. And, you know, we always, we went back and forth. We grew up with him. We, we you know, he's, he's on our birth certificates. He's got our names tattooed on his neck. One on each side. <laughs> We've always been daddy's girls. And you have the same mother as well. So in your mind, you and your sister share the same mother and the same father. <laughs> in my mind, I always knew we were the only ones that were fully linked up because my other siblings were my uncles who are also my cousins. 
who are also <laughs> your cousins. That would be correct. <laughs> so to me, with this going on, I've always questioned why, why did he never come forward before? Why, why wait all this time? Yes, to me, because... it doesn't make sense. Why would you wait 20 years to come up and say something? Why? That hurt us more than anything. If, if you were, why did you wait? But why are you why? blaming me? I mean, like I said a while ago, I, I would have told, I would have told her years ago if I could have, if they hadn't kept her from me. She was my little girl. She's my daughter. So Desiree, when you hear this and you hear your sister talk about how much it meant to her that you shared the same mother and the same father, and now you have to live with the fact that you don't know that if that's true. We've never been really close, but that was some, that was a way that we were close. That way it was, it was the connection that we had. You know, we could always say that our Bubba, yeah, he's our Bubba, but we're closer. We have that bigger connection because we do have share the same mother and the same father. So I feel like in a way it kind of broke a connection that we had. And that hurts you. It hurts really bad. Because truthfully, this news is, it's breaking so many connections you feel like you had. Correct. Uh, it, it broke, I mean, it, it, it's kind of broke the, the connection of the daddy's girl that I had. It broke that connection with him. It broke the connection with my sister because I don't know if that is my full-blooded sister anymore. Um, it don't it, matter, it, I it, love you. It makes me question so many, it makes me question, I love you too. It, question, it makes me question so much because I, now I, instead of being in the known, I'm in limbo. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. It's heartbreaking. It, it's, it's heartbreaking to the point that I feel like I've been lied to my entire life. I've been, like, my entire first 20 years as far as who my dad is has been one big lie. So now, in this moment, who do you call dad? Steve. Oh, you do? Yes, ma'am. So my next question was, who do you believe is your biological father? In my heart, I feel like Steve is. When he told me that, after that, we lost contact a lot. So Who did? Me and Mike did. We lost contact. Um, Wait, you were a daddy's girl. Just because you asked the question and then he gave the answer, then you lost no, contact? It was, it was contact as we were never... We never stayed in contact with each other. Like, he kind of backed out a little bit. Like, he kind of backed away a little bit. But he's been, ever since he's told me 11 years ago that, Des, you may be my daughter, he has been there 100% as my dad. Not as an uncle, but as my dad. So I have, the, I have begun to develop that daughter relationship with him. And I don't want to be building a daughter relationship with him if he's not my dad. Right. This is heartbreaking. And I just want you to know you are in no way wrong. <laughs> what other choice would you have? Right. When you don't know. And so once it was uncovered, Mr. Shockley, Michael Shockley, where'd you go? I just figured that she wanted me to back up a little bit and that way they could get closer to, you know, if he was her dad. In the way, and it could have been, and I, I can understand and I where he, where, where he would come with you. that. Because I did, I did tell him that I wanted to develop, some, because I had no type of relationship with Steve. I didn't have an uncle-daughter or an uncle-niece relationship, nor did I have a daughter, you know, daughter-father relationship. And I did tell Mike that I wanted to develop some type of relationship with him. But he just backed up a little bit more than I would have liked for him to. This is deep. Yeah. Yeah. This is really deep so many pieces to this puzzle, and yet still unsolved. Because this is just, this is years, this is decades, this is three decades mm -hmm. of a paternity secret. I want to get Dr. Baird on the line. He's the chief science officer at uh, DNA Diagnostics, the laboratory which handles all of our testing. And I just want to make sure we are clear on every part of this, because when we get down to the truth, I want everybody to understand how and why it is the absolute truth. So let me see if I can get Dr. Baird on the line.
Dr. Baird, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Thank you so much for taking some time out for us today. Dr. Baird, we have a case in the courtroom today. We've never seen anything like it at paternity court. Dr. Baird, we have two biological brothers with very similar names. I want to make sure that we understand how does DNA diagnostics differentiate between the two men at the facility, two men with almost the same names, but also the same mother and the same father? Well, that is certainly a difficult thing to do genetically to sort out which of the two is the true biological father. However, what we do at DNA Diagnostic Center is that we do additional testing in order to exclude one of the two individuals. And in this particular case, that's exactly what we did. We uh, tested almost twice the number of samples of DNA that we normally test in order to exclude absolutely one of the two individuals. Can you speak to the chain of custody of the samples? I just want to make sure we understand how they move through this process to make sure there is no confusion because we have a young woman here who has waited 31 years for this answer. The chain of custody is very important in cases like this. So when the samples are collected, there are uh, photographs taken of the individuals um, having their sample collected. There are signatures that are obtained at that time. So you know they That's are correct. the person. That's correct. And again, we follow the standards that are put forth by the American Association of Blood Banks to ensure that we have a good chain of custody. Thank you so much, Dr. Baird, for just clarifying all of that for us. I just want to make sure our family understands the care which you take to ensure that they get a proper and true result. It's my pleasure, George. Thank you so much for your time. Bye bye. So I hope you understand. Yes, ma'am. That great care is taken to ensure that the proper result is given to you. Yes, Your Honor. And I realize how high the stakes are. Regardless of whichever it turns out is my dad, I still want a relationship with both of them. Just one is my uncle, one is my dad. <laughs> and you deserve that. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Shockley, Steve Shockley. If the results show you are not her biological father, will you regret ever mentioning this to her? No, Your Honor. Because even if it does show it, I know what step I have to take next. I have to make, take this step next to her. I'm going to be her uncle. Yeah. I mean, and I'm going to be the best uncle she's ever had. Oh. And how about you? Mr. Shockley, Michael Shockley, how are you feeling in this? Do you, do you hope that the tests show that this little girl you raised, you've always believed was your biological child, is in fact your biological daughter? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I hope she's my daughter. But she'd be my little girl always. We, we never, you know, that, we'll always have that. But I just hope whatever the decision is makes her happy. <laughs> Ms. Grove? Yes. What are you feeling in this moment? <laughs> I can't explain it. I wouldn't like to be her dad because they've always had such a strong bond. You know, her growing up. You know, I, I can't change the past. I'm sorry for a lot of things, but in my heart, I feel like Mike is her dad. And I just want Desiree to get the answers that she needs. I'm glad, because I want you to get the answers you need. And I have those answers for you. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Shockley versus Shockley, pertaining to whether Steve Shockley or Stephen Michael Shockley is the father of 31-year-old Desiree Boone. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is 
Mr. Steve Shockley. Yes! Oh, yes. Baby. You want to go by and stand with your desk? Sure. How do you feel, Miss Grove? I'm disappointed because, like I said, and I feel bad for Mike. You know, I know this is hurting him. And I'm sorry, Mike. I honestly believe that she was your daughter. So I hope both of y'all, I hope all of y'all apology. Desiree, you also. But in my heart, I hope you know, I honestly believe Mike was your dad. I love you, brother. <laughs> At the end of the day, just because we don't share the same dad doesn't mean we don't, we're not sisters. I'll, it, I'll never, I don't look at her as my cousin. She's not my cousin, she's my sissy. And my big sis. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what. This has been a saga. What I love so much is I often say in this life, you gotta find the magic in the mess, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah.